What's going on YouTube? I'm K Knight23, the video game professor, and I'd like to speculate a little bit on the lore of beasts, which will be added to Total War Warhammer with the upcoming Call of the Beastmen expansion. Let's talk about the spells and compare their tabletop effects with what I think we'll see in the Total War spinoff. With Sans Wild Form, the signature spell, and probably the best spell on the list, that was a huge buff to units it was cast on, increasing strength and toughness. In Total War, this will likely be an area augment that will be cast on a single unit. I'm speculating that this spell will increase a unit's damage reduction and increase their weapon damage so they take less and do more damage. Flock of Doom in Tabletop, is a magic missile spell that did a lot of low strength hits to a target. Nothing too impressive against well armored or tough opponents, but excellent against a lot of low toughness enemies. In Total War, I want to imagine that this will be a magic missile as well, but there are some other spells that would better fall under that classification, and I really wouldn't see a point to having two magic missile spells if one is significantly weaker than the other. I see this as either a bombardment, explosion, or maybe even a vortex of angry, angry birds straight out of something from Hitchcock. Pan's Impenetrable Pelt buffed the toughness of a single character or more if pumped up. I don't see this as a spell in Total War that will affect just a single character, but it will most likely be a single augment that will pump up a single unit unlike the area of effect augments like Flaming Sword of Ruin. Expect this to buff up damage reduction. The Amber Spear in Tabletop was a very strong option in the lore of beasts, acting like a bolt thrower. It would automatically hit if successfully cast, and deal multiple wounds at a very high strength. I see Total War making this spell a magic missile that will hit with the strength of a cannonball, having a chance to topple large targets and help snipe those annoying Luminarchs that are in every current multiplayer game. The Curse of Andrihir is a spell in tabletop that targeted a single unit and gave that unit a penalty to hit for melee and ranged attacks. Additionally, it forced units to treat all terrain as dangerous, forcing leadership tests to avoid taking damage if moving at full speed. Total War will definitely make this a hex spell, affecting a single unit. It will most likely deal some magical damage and also reduce a target's accuracy, similar to the effects of the Night Shroud from the lore of the Little Wog. The Savage Beast of Horos was a very powerful augment spell that could turn a single character or unit into a killing machine with extra attacks at a higher strength. Likely this will be an augment in Total War that increases weapon damage, attack speed, and may even grant the target fear or terror. The Transformation of Kadan is a spell that turned the wizard into a monster, quite literally. At its best, it could turn a wizard into a mountain chimera, granting it multiple very powerful poison attacks, a breath weapon, multiple stomp hits, and the fear keyword. It's possible that this could transform the wizard. I mean, if the Lord of the Wild is going to be summoning Saigors, why the hell not? Short of actually transforming the caster, this might be another augment in Total War that will grant bonuses all around to a single unit. Likely weapon damage, melee attack, and possibly even poison attacks in scaly skin. The lore of beasts will be released soon, so we'll get a chance to see what's going to happen, but what do you think the spells are going to be once they're implemented in-game? Will the lore of beasts help balance the magic meta, or break it? Or will it do nothing at all? I always found the lore of beasts a solid option for all armies that could cast it, providing lots of options and utility to strengthen the weaker elements of a specific army without completely breaking anything. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. This is K923, the video game professor, signing out.